Okay, everyone, we're going to do a little time series. Now, time series are interesting because, well, they're time series. So that's basically using time as the major variable. So here we are, we're going to measure inflation and consumption and to see if there's a relationship. So we're going to both get this out of Fred, that's in Missouri, basically, uh, and see. So basically, there's two, oh, two, there's four packages you need. Tidy Quant, it gets you Quant Mod and other packages that do quantitative research. T-Series is going to be important because we're going to do a certain test with the time series analysis to see if it's stationary. We're going to show forecast is a really good, this guy's uh, an Aussie that created that Rob Houseman is it? I forget. Uh, but uh, Herman, I forget his last name, but anyways, a very good package. And then die graphs is what we're going to use in order to graph it right there. The word graph, it's going to be an interactive graph. So that's what we're going to do. So now what do you do? We want to get inflation. Inflation is time series because it's over time that inflation moves the same with consumption. So think about it. Let's do inflation. Look at that. Basically this is coming out. You can do this because of the quant tidy quant quant mod package. So here it is. Inflation gets symbols, right? This is the inflation ticker that you get out of Fred, which is basically the reserve, the Federal Reserve in um, Missouri. Who said Missouri didn't have anything good? Well, actually, I've said that. So, and then auto assign false, meaning we're not going to put it in another environment. And this is the source equals Fred or Frederico. Now, how do we know we get it? So this is the code, get symbols. Then you put, in quotes, the ticker number. And we can do this for a, a broad range of things, stocks, bonds, et cetera. This just happens to be inflation. So what you want to basically ask yourself is this. Let's look at the head, right? Inflation. There's a lot of inflation. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of inflation thing. So it's going back all the way to 1947. So we're not going to be able to do that. We'll take a look at this. Then we want to see the tail. What does it go up to, right? Because we just did it. So it should go up to basically uh, the present day. But consumption does not because of the way that they do it. So this, yeah, this goes all well uh, up to the 1st of November. This is December. So no. So this is basically the data we have. Then you want to get consumption. I just call it consumption too. Let's just call it consumption. So consumption is the same, right? You basically go up here, you run it. Those are the codes. So we don't have to write them out. Consumption, get symbols. Now this is the ticker to get it out of consumption. Auto assign false. Now I'm doing from. I tried to do that before, but it wasn't uh, working. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do uh, certain things. Watch where consumption comes up. Watch this. The consumption one, ba boom. Did it work? No, it goes back to two, <laughs> two, uh, uh, two zero zero two. Um, but there's another way around this that used to work, but now it's not. I'm not sure why. But now let's go to the tail consumption. So that's U.S. consumption all the way up to. 10, 0, 1. So that is basically what we're getting is consumption and inflation. Now we want those to have the same dates, start and so the start here is 1947 in order to what we call run regression to see if uh, consumption does cause inflation. And that's very, very important. So I want inflation to basically be the same. So when does consumption starts? It starts here. Right, that is the data we have. Two thousand and two, before most of you were born, zero one zero one. So we want to start it at two thousand and two at the beginning. So if you see up here, then we want to go to two thousand. So let's do this. This is called inflation new time. So we put that in brackets. So, oh, but I want to get that because I I have it called inflation two. So what we're doing, I called it new inflation, new time, because it's just a new time. We're going to run it, see if it works. And it seemed to have, so let's take a look, head, inflation, 
Nope. New times. Where does it begin? So it did change. And then uh, the tail should say, these are just ways in order to see where the data is. Tail is, let's take a look. Oops. It is perfect that it goes to the exact same time. So you start looking at consumption, right? It goes up and down, etc. cetera. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. Ha, ah, that was from before. Oh, that was the one I tied with it. That's pretty cool. Inflation, let me make sure. Do, 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 do. I did the same thing. New time is the name of it. I've done a lot of different names here, so that's why they pop up. So it does end at the same time. So we have inflation, new times, and consumption going at the same time. Now, one of the things you have to ask before we do regression analysis on these, regression analysis is to see whether consumption is causing inflation. Inflation is a huge problem now. So that makes it very, very interesting. Like after the COVID, was there a lot of money? And then that money gets injected into the economy and causes is inflation or is it just you know maybe supply chain issues but look at what we did first we got inflation with the get symbols you can get all you got to do is find a ticket for this and you can get anything you want just get rid of source because you'd use yahoo uh and that's just the default so you could easily get something so just as an example let me um take this i'm gonna copy and put it down here you could get like um Different stocks with this, you would get rid of that just to show you. I did this in another uh, video. Let me see. I want to think Exxon is XOM, uh, I thought. Let's see if I'm correct. I could be wrong. Exxon. Oh, I was right. Uh, and then you look at the head and you'll see Exxon stocks. And they should be up. Exxon opens high, the low for the day. It's starting back at 2007. You can change that and go all the way back uh, since it's been public. And then uh, the close uh, adjusted. Usually what people use is adjusted. So you could easily just go back up here and easily do AD. That's to get the adjusted. You use CL if you just wanted close. Um, and then you just basically do, we'll do the same thing. Head, Exxon, then pops up. Right, and then you're just getting adjusted, which is uh, what usually you use. But the point of all this is we're getting inflation and we're getting consumption. One of the things without getting too much into this the uh, time series in order to do regression analysis has to be what they call stationary. Um, that is, there's a, uh, uh, instead of the movement of the time series up and down, all this stuff, you, you create a stationary and that depends on the number of differences. And that's from the forecast package and DIFs and you figure it out. Okay. Let's see what inflation, uh, we're going to do with new times. I'm pretty sure it's two. So it has two nods of, in, uh, of of difference that you have to make it. So you got to give it two. I'm not going to go in and explain it right now. I've read ooh, tons on this, but basically that's what you, you need to do. Now the number of differences between consumption, I believe is always different. That should be one and it is. So you have to change it. So when you look at it, this is basically what we're doing. So let's go inflation. We'll do that. I just want to make sure inflation new time looks good. Let's take a look. So now the number of differences should be zero. This one is uh, inflation, no differences. Uh, so we can see zero. And there's an interesting test you can do with uh, the ADF. This is why the p-value is always important. If you notice when we do this, inflation, ah, uh, you basically, oh, inflation, no difference. Let me take a look. Oh, you got to get rid of the, if there's any NAs, that'll screw it up. So you basically want to go NA dot omit. So you, that's no answers. So there might be some no answers in there that you want to admit. Uh, for this to go. And then here it is. And the P value is only 0 0.01. 
The alternative hypothesis is this is stationary. That means it's basically you can use this to run regression. You're creating a stationary time series. Like if you've seen any of my other videos, it's kind of like, you know, ice cream, consumption and temperature. We saw a significance there. We haven't run regression yet, but you've got to keep it stationary or the results will be somewhat suspect. Now, if you do like consumption, let's go up and do this other test with uh, uh, consumption, right? We'll keep it with the, watch this, it's not going to be, say the p-value is, is not significant, so you wouldn't accept the alternative hypothesis that it's stationary. So what we need to do is basically make consumption let me just copy and paste that down here, is make consumption, right, stationary. So we're going to do this. Consumption, stationary. Now let's take a look. Boop, 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 boop. We're using consumption, not inflation anymore. This is one of the good things about, um, like, uh, now only one, not two. So there you go. So now this should be significant. I've done it so many times with different things. Okay, there it is. Right now it's the same, zero, one, et cetera. Don't worry about this. Um, so you basically have can run regression on this. And that's really cool because we're going to see whether or not to a certain degree you know, inflation is caused by consumption. So we're just going to use the regular, um, let's call it, okay, people like to call it Sleepy Joe. I was just in the, in the, um, in one of those, um, what do you call them, grocery stores? And someone said, you know, oh, this is expensive. This isn't here. And they said, you know who to blame? And they said, yeah, I know who. And it was an elderly couple. You knew that they were talking about Sleepy Joe. So we'll see. If Sleepy Joe, Creepy Trump, who's to blame here for all of this? Now, I mean, it's usually outside of the president's hand. Most presidents don't want high inflation, like what is going on. But we're just going to use the regular LM functions. There are other functions that you can use, but we're just going to keep it simple for right now. Keep it simple, stupid, like all that stuff. So what we're going to see is the independent variables consumption, the dependent variable is um, inflation. So as you would know, inflation will be the dependent variable and consumption, we got to use it without the uh, differences, will be that. So oh, look at that. So we're running regression. Is there a relationship? And it's an interesting uh, result because I've done it before. So let's go with Sleepy Joe. People like to, to, to blame poor Sleepy to see what's up. So here you go. This is a pretty interesting thing. One, this is thing very significant, but it had the multiply square is not that bad. I wonder why I had a different one. Let me make sure it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, LM function, Sleepy Joe. Uh, you are seeing a pretty good multiply square, which is in a very low standard. And you were seeing that. That's interesting. I want to make sure that that is correct because I got it. Okay, let me see. Consumption, no. And then, and they're both um, stationary. So you're getting a pretty good, the more people consume, right? The more inflation that's going to happen. And that's very, very interesting when you start looking at uh, the data. So I had this um, already combined. We can combine it. Uh, what we do is C bind. So let's just call it both, right? And we're going to C bind both. Now you can't do this one with when it's already no difference because what we did to this right, is make it stationary. So it's just like noise, like check it out. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, let me just, just go here. There's nothing that, there's nothing that both is like, okay, so anyways, check it out. We do digraphs, right? This will show you how it is with the significance. 
Um, oh, not the significance yet when it's stationary. So check this out. Die graphs, let's just do inflation, right? We'll just do inflation like we did before. We pipe that in, then this one, and then do die ranger. That gives us the ability to create the ranger selector. And you take a look and look at it. You know, that's cons uh, 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 inflation. Holy <laughs> Is that bad or good? Uh, so you start seeing it going up. But if you look over time, historically, it's always gone up. This is 61, 70, 2001, 2003. It's, it's, it's historically gone up. But if you look at this time here, it's gone up. If you try to do that with, say, um, inflation, no difference. Check this out. That's what you're getting. So that's why it's stationary, right? It's it's basically going like this. Like, okay, this is one time. This is another time. This is one time. This is... So it's like you're going up and down, uh, depending on where the data moves, but it's stationary. So what we're going to do is C-bind. C-bind to keep them uh, both. We're going to C-bind before we made them stationary. So they will both, we'll do inflation, um new time because we want it with consumption and then consumption just normal right and there okay so they're together so now we can basically do a digraphs of this so we call it both Let's see what's happening all right so you see down here this is a little difficult let's see if i can zoom it so we can see it and then we can do uh, 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 news exchange. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, it said my thing is paused. Let me take a look here. Bo, 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 bo. I'm trying to get it to, yeah, let me get out of this. Cause it's not, uh, let me, for some reason, I'll just make it up like this. All right. So, I can't get it on there. So if you look at this, these two are together in the diagrams. There's clearly, even though inflation has been held low pretty much over the, the course of the United States, one of the reasons why it's somewhat successful, but there still is a correlation between these and even little ones. Like, look at this, watch this. Uh, take this, take this. Do they both go down at the same time? See, they do. 133, 259, right? So you start seeing the inflation, which is the top green one, is 259, and then consumption 133 in, in, in dollars and how they measure it. Both are going down at the same time. So when consumption dips, right? Even if it's like, what? look at how it goes down, down. It's pretty low, like look at inflation. And so they're pretty correlated. What my hunch is, now I am no Nobel winning economist, although I shouldn't be, is that, because uh, they probably use data, real, real bunch of losers, all these people. Uh, this seems to be a very strict, so now it goes up and that goes up, but watch, even a little dense, watch, 262, 132, do they both dip at the same time? 131, see, look at, uh, oh no, it did go up inflation, uh, wow. 132, 262, but it still went up, the inflation, even though consumption went down and now it's going up, now let's take a look at the blue because that is our consumption. So consumption's going up, but let's see if it goes down here, if they both go down. No, look at that. Inflation keeps going up. So that's pretty interesting. 278, 280, 281, and then it goes up. So there is a correlation, not a perfect one, right? So let me see. 241. So inflation keeps going up. It doesn't stop uh, going up regardless. And that's one of the reasons why we have this uh, diagram. My diagram is not working on that one. So this is one of the reasons why um, the regression is pretty interesting because you basically have these uh, numbers. Now look at that. I can't even get out of this that uh, are showing us the relationship between these two variables. And it goes back. I mean, you know, you can go back if I could. 
uh, to a whole uh, other um, place. So you start looking, that's my history. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So you start looking at the data, right? At the statistics and you're seeing quite the relationship, right? So uh, with a very high T value, um, the estimate would be with every uh, inch of consumption, you're getting a point more of uh, inflation. So you you look at this, this is pretty, I mean, and that that's a pretty good multiple R squared considering, let's go back up to the plot. Um, we lost it. Sometimes it does that. Uh, that it it is is pretty consistent with that. But the question is, is supply the problem with the supply chain also a problem? So check this out. It does dip. They both dip. So they're pretty strongly consistent. Let's look at this. This dips, and it does dip inflation, particularly during uh, the COVID. So we're talking February. Inflation dip inflation dip. So now remember, these are just also, um, you know, certain products. This isn't every product. They have different, I don't work for Fred. I probably should, but um, the different products that are in the uh, consumption basket and then inflation basket, et cetera. So it doesn't cover all products, just like the Dow Jones, doesn't cover all stocks, right? We use that as a base, but we have to remember we have to be very uh, careful. But what I think this is showing is that with more consumption, and the reason why we have high inflation is uh, people were really, a lot of people, not all, so, you know, I don't want to get angry emails, but in the United States, you know, they got the special unemployment, uh, even more than the regular, people were getting money, parents were getting checks for their children. There was just a broad range of... Um, ways uh, private businesses public business etc to, to 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 compensate for the loss of the covid and when covid kind of petered out uh i don't know disappeared it's still there obviously or maybe it was just fake like alex jones says uh but regardless you basically have after people started spending their money so you have an intrinsic uh inflation problem with after the COVID. So I hope you enjoyed that. I kind of went fast. I don't like to take too much time, but I probably did. But what we did there was pretty interesting. If you look at it, we found these codes, right? We got one, two, three, four packages. Then we got with the get symbols from the quant mod package. That's part of tidy quant brings that in. We were able to access both consumption and inflation, right? And then we made them stationary. And then we did regression analysis. Now that's a very sophisticated model. So if you are interested in knowing these and stuff, oh, and then I did tickers uh, for, I got Netflix, Amazon, Apple, you know, Facebook is now meta. It wouldn't uh, go. So I was like, what? And so Facebook is now called meta. So you can like access all these things. They're very interesting. You can do high level models that uh, we should be doing in uh, not only statistics, obviously the social sciences, but economics, et cetera. So thanks for listening, everyone, and take care.